how important is it for you to guys to finish, uh, find a different way to win some games, a couple sack flies, a double flag grounder? Yeah, no question. Um, if you want to be a complete team and a, and a really good one, you got to win games at times in different ways. Um, you know, and we've done that. We've done that, you know, early on in the season. We were kind of finding our way offensively. Um, you know, we cashed in a couple times but had a few chances to break it open. Couldn't quite do it. You know, I thought the pitching staff led by um, by Garrett, you know, made big pitches in the most critical times of the game. You know, he got out of a couple really big jams when he probably made his best pitches and needed to. Castro the same, Holmes the same there, and then Chappie finishing it off. So, um, yeah, a, a good you know another really good team win you mentioned garrett he was in a really tight spot in the sixth inning what did you see from him that allowed him to bear down and get those last two outs yeah i thought he was in a good rhythm actually as the in the middle of the game i felt like he 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 started throwing the ball really well and really started to execute that inning santana gets the the bloop on him the other way um and then who who was it after that smoke got got on base and so he's in a jam and i just felt like uh, you know, he, he really started executing with the fastball at that point. Um, you know, I thought in the prior inning he, he executed some good change-ups, not a pitch he used a ton tonight. And at, at the finish, you know, I just thought he he executed when he needed to. I thought he got a big out of, uh, of obviously, uh, Perez earlier in the game when he, you know, lost command there for a couple hitters, made a big pitch, though, to, to Salvi. So on a night it wasn't necessarily perfect, he, he, he was – at his best in the in the biggest moments. We got the update of left groin tightness for Joey Gallo. What happened and what is his situation? Yeah, it's that. We'll see. We'll see how he's doing in the morning. Um, uh, when he was out, uh, I think when he you know, when he broke for second uh, on that <clears throat> stolen base and it was foul ball. Uh, I think he felt a little tightness in there, and um, so just didn't want to take any chances with it. So we'll see what we have tomorrow. What's your level of concern with him? Uh, nothing yet. I mean, he, he feels pretty good right now. His strength was pretty good, but I, I think we'll know a lot more in the morning. You mentioned before the game that Trevino and Cole were not necessarily a pairing that was going to last, but after the last two games, it, does that make you think that there's a, an added comfort level there? Uh, again, I'm no, I'm, I'm no more or less comfortable with either either guy with them, so it'll be kind of how, how it matches up. You made a face. I mean, Higgy or Trevino. Yeah, like, yeah. like I'm good with either. However, it matches up, and 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 the week's rolling out. I'm comfortable with both of them. What's been different with Garrett? Um, you know, I've, I don't think there's been a lot different other than the first four hitters in Boston. Um, Vladdy having a night uh, in Toronto. So I, I think it was close to being really good, and then. You know, the the Detroit game was a wonky one that got away, pitch count, and he lost command. So I don't think that had anything to do with the catcher. How encouraged have you been with what you've seen from Glaber? Yeah. Last week? Really? I mean, I, I, he's working really well. He's competing really well. Um, you know, he's he's been a big part of this, and he's had obviously some really big at-bats for us. Um, you know, more good at-bats today. Uh, sack fly that just missed one. Uh, that really could have broke the game open. Uh, good at bat to start the game with the base hit to left. So definitely encouraged by uh, by how he's playing. Did they just ditch the pitch com in the ninth, or did they fix no, it? No, they fixed it. Yeah. With, uh, with Gallo, was this something he mentioned, or is it something you, you guys noticed? Uh, with yeah, the, he, he said something coming back to, to Chappie, Travis Chapman over at first base there. Um, and then we were just, you know, kind of checking on him underneath and running him through some tests and stuff. And I just decided I didn't want to, you know, risk it at that point.